G'day guys, it's Greg again from Supertech Electronics and today we're going to remove a 2014 Kluger sound system. Now one of the problems you may be, may be hap happening on your unit is that it's trying to load and never actually gets to the end. Uh, that, is, that is a common issue with one of these units and we can repair that. The tools you will need is a 10mm socket, on an extension preferably, and a plastic spudger. Alrighty, let's get, let's get going. First part we're going to remove is this plastic trim around here. Now that's just held in with clips. Best way to do it is to start from this end and peel it back. Okay, that will peel back and it will expose two cables that are plugged into it. You'll need to remove those by pressing the center pin and pulling it towards the front of the car. Okay, we're just going to put that aside for the time being. Now the next section we're going to remove is this little plastic trim around here. Once again, just held in with clips, get your spudger under it and peel it up, peel it away. Being careful not to stress any particular point of it and breaking it. These two air vents will come out exactly the same way. They just pop out. Just like that. Now that will ex expose our two four 10mm bolts. One there, one there one there and one there. So you will re need to remove those with your socket. Once you've done that, this whole unit will come out as a whole piece, like so. And on the back of it will be plugged in electrical connections. Don't worry about not getting them back in the right place because they will only fit in one hole. Press that button, pull it towards the front of the car and remove them all. That unit is now ready to send off to Supertech Electronics for repair.